time. Let's show you how they got it done. Let's take a look at our Huntington Bank highlights from the game. We go back to the first period, and Toledo start on time. They did that. They got after it early. John Albert on the rebound. Yeah, just about four and a half minutes in. John Albert, kind of when we talked to him after that first intermission, said, you know, I was there for the dirty rebound, was ready for it, and it worked out. Yeah, it certainly did for the Toledo Walleye. Cincinnati, though, would come back as they tied the game. Andrew Ziak with the goal there. That would even the score at one. Toledo on the power play, though. John Albert, recipient of the great pass by Matt Barry. And again, just 35 seconds later, which is just huge when it comes to shutting down that Cincinnati momentum, not letting them add goal on goal. Yep, there you go. We go to the second period. Toledo had the lead, two to one. They would hold that. Some great saves by Billy Christopoulos because the game turned. You heard Dan Watson talk about it. They started to allow Cincinnati some opportunities, and they started to put pressure on Toledo. Billy Christopoulos had to be sharp. And then, of course, this unfortunate bounce goes off of his head, his back, into the net, and we're thinking, oh, no. Never seen anything like it. And all of a sudden, we're at a tie game and its next goal is potentially going to win. We're forced into overtime. And I mean, again, credit to Cincinnati. They had six shots in the first period and then through the next two, outshot Toledo 20 to 14. That's right. They came alive over those next two periods. In the third period, neither team was able to find the back of the net, uh, but some good opportunities were there. Most of them weren't even shots on goal in the third period. That was a good chance for Cincinnati. That was a really good opportunity there, and then Toledo, when they had the opportunity with the man advantage. Mitchell Hurd has done that a couple of times this year, that little spin and stuff. You start to think the goaltender overthinks it a little bit. Sometimes you end up with a goal, and then we get into overtime, and well, you just never know what's gonna happen in OT. Sometimes you play a puck around, it hits a weird bounce. I mean, assist to the boards, right? It's off the boards. I, hockey's a game of angles, you know that, but rarely do you see this type of angle where it hits off the board, off the back of the goaltender, and in. But that's all Toledo needed to come out with the win in game one. How about that from John Albert just throwing it behind the net, just trying to wrap it around the board. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And it goes into the back of the cage. Final stats from the night brought to you by College Advantage. 36-35 Toledo with the edge in the shot department. Their 36 does find the back of the net. Counts as a shot. No, John Albert wasn't trying to put it on the net. It does count it, as yeah. a <laughs> shot. And one th uh, one for three on the power play, but you mentioned it with Coach. Five for five on the PK was huge. 